And now I present to you James B. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay, we are back. We are back. It is what is it, Saturday afternoon, November the 7th, 2015? Is that what it is? Mm. But, uh, yesterday was like, what, 75 degrees? Mm. So, I don't see the winds of November coming early. Well, actually, the winds of November are here. They're just not cold. El Nino. They're balmy. It's, it's from El Nino. Yeah, believe it or El not. El Nino is directing the, directing the winds west to east across the whole United States. <coughs> I mean, going from... And the jet stream is up. Going so from... So we got a high here on the east coast and giving us some Bermuda weather. Balmy <laughs> weather? Yeah. So, so it's, co it's coming from west to east, which means... The El Nino is starting on, on, in the Pacific Ocean, so it's blowing across the U.S. from west to east, and we're in the northeast, of course. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like this is really, hey, it's climate change, you know, I mean, uh, don't be too shocked. Um, a lot of strange things, uh, according to the planet Earth and our environment, are to come, you know, expect them to come. Um, welcome everyone to Progressive Discussions. I'm your host James P. Madonna and I'm here with my co-host and mentor the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Uh, are you feeling better this week, sir? Yeah. Alright, good. So am I. We were sick. For those of you that watched last week's Halloween 2015 show, uh, but this, these temperature fluctuations, I think, in my opinion, is what did us all in because uh, it has been more than several years since I have gotten sick, period. And it's been over 10 years. I mean, I mean it, it, maybe it's been over a decade. I mean, because of the, the supplements I take, <clears throat> I haven't. Knock on Blackthorn Shillelagh Wood. I haven't gotten sick in many years. Uh, I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten the chills in more than a decade, and I uh, I owe it all to the supplements. But somebody gave it to you. But the supplements are they have their limitations. In other mm -hmm. words. If you if you're experiencing the the drastic fluctuation of temperature because of climate change, I think it takes its toll on the immune system. It gets cold, it gets moderate, it gets hot, it gets cold again, again hot, cold, warm, this that blah blah. But blah most blah. of the time, you acquired it from someone else. Right. And I was taking lots of natural vitamin A and D, and I still acquired it. Uh -huh. I still acquired that flu or whatever the heck it was from someone, from someone else. You know, it's hard to tell from where. If it was from a doorknob, if it was from the ATM machine, it's really hard to pinpoint uh, where it ATM came from. ATM machines are loaded. Notorious. Notoriously. Because everybody touches it. I With mean... they're shitty hands. It's they like, don't wash their freaking hands. It's, it's like money. Always wash money your too. hands after handling money. Um, you know, if you're going to touch food because every Tom, Dick, and Harry handles money. And you don't know where their hands have been. You don't know what they have. I mean, for God's sakes, I mean, they could have uh, anything. It's kind of scary, you know, especially with the um, with the uh, the biological uh, government created uh, 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 bacteria and infections that kind of escape from the lab. You know, like like some of these articles will tell you chemtrails. There's chemtrails. Uh, they have their suspicion of Ebola. They have their suspicion of everything. 
you know, uh, 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 did it start in a U.S. government lab? Well, Ebola came and went, didn't it? They kind of nipped it in the bud, unless you're impoverished, living in a fourth world country or a fifth world African country. You know what Maybe I mean? Maybe it was just all fake. There's okay. even articles out now that are that are saying and proving that uh, th uh, some of the ISIS uh, executions are mocked and staged. Yeah, they caught one. I, I, in other being words, made. the video was just being made. In other words, there is no low the uh, United States military industrial complex would 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 sink to 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 get to maintain perpetual war so the the one percent can continue to make a fortune fat cats continue their greed they they never have enough money even though they're all farts they never they're never wealthy enough uh, I'm surprised that Bill Gates has been uh, uttering some progressive statements lately you know uh, I wonder what's up with him so is Hillary Clinton big, so what big deal Speaking of the whole campaign, um, we all know that <laughs> the Republicans are uh, pretty well known <laughs> as being whiny babies, and uh, you know they they want to they 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 want uh, they don't want tough questions. You know they they want somebody like Rush Limbaugh to be the moderator, so so they to make them look good. Uh, they don't want honest journalists to uh, ask them those tough questions so we all know where they're coming from but um, I think I missed the recent Democratic Forum hosted by Rachel Maddow I got it is it on YouTube yet well, I don't know I saw it I missed it live I, m I missed it was it good yeah it was good because Rachel Maddow you can't get a better moderator than her, man, for the Democrats. You know, I mean, she or 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 Ed Schultz. I mean, but Rachel Maddow, I'm sure, did an outstanding job. Uh, but you know what bothers me? The media, including the so-called progressive MSNBC, is not mentioning the truth about the Bernie Sanders campaign, like. Uh, they're all saying that Hillary Clinton is far ahead of Bernie Sanders in the polls and they're also saying they're not mentioning the fact that Bernie Sanders has just become has just received more donors in the history of American politics they're not they're, in other words the, the, when the kudos come in none of the uh, American media is mentioning any of it so shame on you American media, Chisler's Hall of Shame inductee, you're in there. So, uh, <clears throat> it's because they don't understand socialism. <clears throat> the real meaning, the real definition of democratic socialism is on the internet. And it sounds pretty damn good. But there are. It would be even nicer if we had a combination. Well, I, 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 I wouldn't put the second one in, but. A combination of socialism, capitalism, and God's economics. In other words, if you took democratic socialism and you God. threw in a little more equal fairness and compassion coming from God's economics, then you would have some a real humdinger of a of a government. But but yeah, well I'll, I'll be happy with democratic socialism. And speaking of uh, the left wing. If they are left wing, I I, I doubt it. But uh, new, uh, new, the first time uh, first time in 37 years, the Democrats won overwhelmingly here in New Jersey in uh, the state Senate. Uh, you know, all the representatives from the different counties of New Jersey in Trenton. Uh, uh, the Democrats have a uh, substantial uh, majority uh, that will be able to uh, override. Uh, um, Crispy Cream, Crisco, Balloon Boy, Chris Christie, the obnoxious, uh, overbearing ogre, the the political bully. 
political bully though they will be able to override Christie. so I, I congratulate um, the, um, the the Democrats from coming out and vote I, I, I congratulate the New Jerseyans for getting their asses out of the house and actually voting See what happens when there's no voter apathy? When people vote? Good things happen. I voted quickly. I went right, but then again, I don't have far to go. I went right like a, a few blocks away to the, first, to the uh, nearest elementary uh, grammar school, and that's where I vote. Cool. That's where I vote, and I voted. And it was a, I went there during the day, and it was, no, actually, there was like nobody there. I think what happens is that all the seniors come in early. Yeah. The early bird seniors. And then the people who are working come in after five. Right. So I'm I I went in the in the in the afternoon, early afternoon. There was nobody there. I went, boom, took care of it. Uh, and I asked them when it, when are the uh, primaries, and they said primaries take place in June. So I'm assuming that June 2016 would be. Hillary, Clinton, O'Malley, and Bernie Sanders primary. That I'm assuming that because they said all primaries are in June. So, uh -huh. <coughs> but um, here's my. Um, in case the subjects come up, this is the uh, my my version of the re a Republican representative uh, that should take pl take the place of the elephant. The evangelical evil serpent taking up serpents, you know, like those evangelical lunatics that dance around with poisonous snakes in church. This is the real representative of the Republican Party, in my opinion. So I'll wear it just as a reminder who the enemy really is. But if you don't vote, you you have no right to complain and voice your opinions. I'm not interested in what you have to say and what you think if you do not vote. So, uh, another good thing that comes from the Democrats is that they are for a, um, a pretty good voter reform that makes it easy easier for everyone to vote. I think I think it should be extremely easy for every American citizen to be able to vote. Republicans do not believe that. No, because because mainstream traditionally votes uh, left wing, Democrat. Traditionally, the, the, the masses. That's why the Republicans don't believe in that. That's well, because why they want voter ID. Because the Republicans can only win by cheating. Well, yeah. That's the but only that's way. Them, that's just politics, baby. That that's um, well, that's politics, baby. That's capitalism, baby. Yeah. You know, like you say, but that, that that doesn't make it honest and fair. Well, of course not. Nothing is honest and fair with Republicans. They have to cheat. Okay. They have to just like they they ha they want to pick the moderator for their uh, debates because they don't want to look bad. Well, they don't want to have debates. They but, want to have. Uh, 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 this is me, and I'm so good that you should vote for me. Well, they want to be able to lie without being challenged. Right. Like Carly Fiorina did. Like all of them really did. That's great. The only one who was the most honest is Donald Trump. The rest of them were just ridiculous liars. Well, we will when we get to it, we yeah. will get to see one of the big liars who is now numero uno in the Republican field. Mr. Quick Hands himself, Ben Carson. Un Uncle Ben's converted bullshit. <laughs> Uncle Ben. Hey, did you see that uh, video of um, of the, of the um, uh, Ted Cruz's father, the pastor, that that was, uh, they said that Ted Cruz is anointed to to be the like the savior of the mo modern day savior or something. Uh, uh, who anointed him? His father? I think so. Good God! 
Well, his father. You can't anoint anybody if you don't have the Holy Spirit. His father. And I can guarantee you I that guess his father his, I guess don't his, have the Holy I Spirit. I guess his father felt he, you know, he, he he can intercede for the Lord. Oh and, yeah. So does the Pope. That's why I put Peter, uh, Peter Popoff's video underneath it. You know, the miracle spring water. Oh. So, uh, got a new thermos, people. Not time. No, Doctor Bill is really happy about that. Gee. Yeah, good old Aldi's. Love that store. German-owned company. I think I think it's out of Illinois. Aldi's, capital A L D I. I want to say greetings to my near dear friend in Osaka, Japan, Miho. Greetings, Miho. And Sash Boyle, my number one Facebook group administrator. Greetings to you. Um, I could say greetings to um, other people. Uh, you know what? Mr. Held Helder Gondra of uh, Indian Clubs, Portugal. He's a really nice, humble man. And also uh, Kashi of uh, Zirkane, Australia, Persian Yoga. I say greetings to the both of you. Uh, check them out on the internet. Uh, they make the finest um, Indian clubs and Persian exercise clubs mm -hmm. in, the, in the world. Internationally, they're the best internationally. You know, of course, uh, Domestically, I, I uh, represent uh, revolutionclubs.net. Um, other than that, Anthony Laura, my uh, administrator over on Everything is Food. Greetings to you, Anthony Laura. So, you know, I, I, I shout out to the people who, who care. Of course, uh, Mr. S uh, Stephen R. Santangelo, uh, uh, fitness expert for older people and very successful organic farmer who will be doing a live show with me on Ustream. Now that I have Linux, I cannot do live stream anymore because you need Windows. I have a Linux now, so I have a, a brand new Ustream channel hey. and I will be doing my first live show which will be the second show with Mr. Stephen R. Santangelo, and we will discuss factory farms, you know, uh, big pharma versus the small local organic farms of traditional, not just traditional America, but the world actually relied upon locally grown organic foods when you think about it well it was <laughs> it was necessary at one time you couldn't have stuff to ex ex export it across the ocean no what about the you know I mean that's how they uh, uh, they had the uh, in the beginning there they, they had the, the spice trail so that they could go get the spices yeah. bring the spices back blah, 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 blah. but normally you know it's it's all local and when the fruits and vegetables and herbs are yeah, did you ever eat a pomegranate if you were uh, you know not in the Middle East or something? No. In North America, you ever get a pomegranate? No, because no, they they require a certain climate. Mm -hmm. Figs require a certain climate, etc. Mangoes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the point is that if it's locally grown, it's usually vine ripened, so you you will get a more nutritious. Uh, produce and a tastier produce mm. to boot and I think according to no boot according to my uh, according to uh, George Osawa and Michio Kushi of the macrobiotic way they said that um, people should eat eating locally is healthier in other ways too it, it, it's 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 the healthiest thing to do is to eat locally. Yeah, well, number one thing is that you don't need any preservatives if you do things that way. Right. Right. Yeah. If you want to cross the ocean, you got to have some kind of preservatives for it. Yeah, if you, if you want a tomato food, if you want a tomato from California, this is this is if California didn't have the drought. You know, they have to pick the tomato very green and ship it. 
yeah. and, and possibly spray it with something to accelerate mm. the ripening process. Mm. And then you have factory farms with the, uh, the very dangerous Monsanto Roundup um, fertilizer, uh, which is killing our bees and killing us. Um, oh, by the way... Um, bees and butterflies. Yeah, the monarch butterfly is endangered. The first mentioning of of um, a wicked, greedy company uh, involved in bio <coughs> technology, bioengineering, was um, the last Omen movie where Damien grows up and is enlisted in a military academy school, military school. And uh, the company that is uh, he's in league with, you know, the, the Antichrist, happens to be just like Monsanto, but they, they used another name. So, mm. so check it out. You'll see it. They knew something back then. Well, George Orwell knew things too. I mean, a lot of people knew things back then. You know, uh, 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 the late great uh, George Carlin, uh, and the list goes on and on. Many people were ahead of their time, and they, you know, but just it fell on deaf ears, thanks to our media, I guess. You know, even Frank Zappa was very uh, deep. You know, he, they mention a lot of things about the corruption of our system. Anyway, let us sink our teeth into these readings. <clears throat> the Evangelical Serpent. I'll wear it until I get tired of wearing it. A Defiant Ben Carson on Friday rejected the idea his past descriptions of receiving a scholarship offer to attend West Point were inaccurate. His, his childhood friends uh, pretty much said he was a liar. He fabricated everything. <laughs> and called questions about the veracity of his story irrelevant to his campaign for president. I think what it shows and these kinds of things show is there is a desperation on behalf of some to try to find a way to tarnish me. Yeah, you're tarnishing yourself. You, you know, it's, it's obvious. Carson told reporters at a news conference in Miami. Because they have been looking through everything. They have been look, talking to everyone I have ever known and everybody I've ever seen. There has got to be a scandal. Carson, a newcomer to national politics, has developed a passionate following based in part on his inspirational personal story. You see how people are? They did a satire on the cartoon South Park about... No, not South Park, I'm sorry. Family Guy, Family Guy, about how people respond to emotion you're in politics. Well, the point is that the evangelicals, they love the story of the bad person finding Jesus and becoming good. They love that. Yeah, but there's all, like that's it. all in quotes. Uh, uh, finding Jesus and becoming a good uh, in, in their perception, not, well, a rea not a reality. Yeah, well, they like that story. Okay, that, yeah. that narrative. They well, that narrative. Well, some uh, um, the right wing nut. Uh, well, he's uh, look. I love his um, his website. I love his his holistic health articles. They're <coughs> second to none. But the guy that runs Natural News is obviously a conservative right winger. Hey. And uh, you know he posts the usual abortion mumbo jumbo, and uh -huh. and he also posted something about. I don't know if it was a football coach or someone was fired or suspended for praying out in public, you know, doing a Tim Tebow routine and saying that they're anti, the, you know, blaming the Obama 
administration and the lefties and the liberals for being anti-religion. Mm -hmm. First of all, the Bible does not tell you to show off by praying in public. You're supposed to be very humble and do it privately. You know. No, the Pharisees did it out in public because they wanted you to see it. But the show off. Okay. It's like a photo a op. Billionaire with the yacht. That's what it is. It's the same freaking thing. Right. Or Paul Ryan making believe he's washing dishes at some uh, food mm -hmm. pan, uh, soup yeah. kitchen or whatever. Right. Yeah. For like a, a thirty seconds. For, oh, the camera's off. All right, let me get out of this dump. Or George W. Bush. Mission accomplished. Yeah, insincere self-promoting stunts mm -hmm. for promoting thyself. You know, but anyway, get back to The that. only African-American in the Republican 26th class, Carson, grew up in inner-city Detroit and often speaks about his brushes with violence and poverty during his early years. What about his brushes with accepting social services and affirmative action? I bet he did that. Well, he doesn't want other people to have it today. Isn't that something? Well, they're always hypocrites, Republicans. Because that makes people lazy and moochers. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if Ben Carson and uh, Herman Cain of the past dun, dun, dun. were not um, um, were not sent out by the Koch brothers to tokens. Take Tokens? To, to take votes, to take black votes away from Democrats? Well, that's what they try. They try to do that, you know. To take black votes away from Democrats? Because they don't get no black votes to speak of. Get, put out a, put out a Republican, a, a, a black man, and make him real popular mm -hmm. to, to steal votes, minority votes from the Democrats. Wouldn't be surprised. Continue. Following a story published by Politico earlier on Friday, his campaign sought to clarify Carson's story about his interest in attending the U.S. Military Academy in his breakfast book, Gifted Hands, in which he outlines his participation with the Reserve Officers Training Corps, commonly known as ROTC, while in high school. I was offered a full scholarship to West Point, Carson said, in 1996 book. I didn't refuse the scholarship outright, but I let them know that a military career wasn't where I saw myself going. I apologize for the construction racket next door. As overjoyed as I felt to be offered such a scholarship, I wasn't. This has been a Mega Life 21 production. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times, so you need newsletter censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hi, I'm William Morrow. Wake up, people, because the truth is often, very often, a very, very hard pill to swallow. Hey, listen, for the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye.